camera video sunglasses. This is the box they come in. It's about three inches tall by six inches wide, about three inches deep. So this is the box they come in. I already have them out, but I wanted to show you the box. So they come in a nice, good constructed box. So in it, you'll get the glasses, of course. You get a lens cleaner, you get a power cable to charge it. This is a strap to go around your head to hold it on, so if you're doing something in motion it won't fall off so easily. Very nice constructed carry case with a little latch hook to clip on your belt or something. And you get an instruction manual. So let's take a little closer look at the glasses. The camera is actually right between your own eyes, right there as you can see it. And then you have on this side the spot where you put in your SD card as well as you pull out that little black part right there and that's where the charger hooks up. Let me show you if I can do this one-handed. So yeah, so the SD card is right there by my thumb and if you move this out of the way that's where you'll plug in your charger to charge it. So these gray things here, that's actually the button. So one side on the right side does nothing but on the left side that's basically your pause and record button. So you'll hit it once and it'll turn on. The second time you hit it, it's going to start recording. And these lights will start flashing. Not necessarily both of them, but this one right here will start flashing as it records versus just being on is on standby at the moment. So very nice. I'm also going to upload a little video I took here in my living room using them. So check out my other video as well. Thanks for your time.
looking straight out nice and clear head straight up Nice line of uh, sight. Uh, I'm doing 70 miles an hour currently in the middle lane on the north way. Um, the actual uh, glasses have a 65 degree angle on these glasses. They actually record at uh, five minute increments in MOV format up to an hour and a half continuous. You can change the uh, time zone on these things uh, for anywhere from one minute to three minutes to five minutes and ten minutes. Um, and it'll run continuous at each breaking point. Uh, so far, I highly recommend these glasses. Um, these are, were purchased on uh, Amazon. And they were just all uh, with Amazon Prime account, like 54 bucks. And they actually come with a... Uh, 90 day no uh, no problem guarantee return and a one year factory warranty come with these glasses which really make it nice um, yeah let me go here in the right lane here but compared to other glasses that I have purchased uh, like I say they weren't the 65 degree angle um, they were actually an ABI file versus the MOV file format, uh, which makes it nice with the MO, MOV format, which is a, actually a uh, QuickTime format. Um, it's a better, higher quality resolution than the ABI, and it's easier to, uh, like I say, if you want to change it in a converter or whatnot, it's faster and quicker, and it's faster to download off your computer from either from the phone or from the SD chip. Uh, to your computer to get the files off it so you can edit them, you know, with your editing software that you use. Um, so that's what makes it nice. Ah, oh, crap. Why did I do this? Wow, well, I have to cut across. I gotta make it to the insurance company before uh, 4.30, so we're getting there. But overall, I feel that these glasses are going to work out pretty good for me. Uh, this is the fourth pair of glasses that I've actually purchased. Uh, pretty much all the other ones, other than the first pair, were pretty much uh, defective um, with different area, different problems with the uh, camera and whatnot. As of right now, uh, the camera is set on my face, and I've slightly got them up a little bit in the back, not tight to my ears, just to adjust the angle a little bit. It seems like every pair of glasses that I purchase. Um, for some reason they always run high for some reason. I don't I don't know why. Uh, but the resolution on this is 1920, uh, which is a high resolution, which is really nice. And it's a five megapixel uh, camera, according to the specs. It takes up to um, two hours to uh, charge the batteries, and you can do an hour and a half recording continuous. And uh, you can go as high as a 32. Uh, gig SD card in the glasses and actually it's supposed to be a class 10 it's recommended to have a class 10 uh, SD chip I'm not sure exactly what the class is I've never really researched it to figure out exactly what that was maybe that's the uh, data rate um, that they use whatever to uh, for quality or you know to be able to offload it on your computer or whatnot I'm not sure um, I should know this but somehow I, I don't know I gotta research it I'm not sure what it means um, but anyway, so far so good. 
So these cameras, this is the first time uh, I've used these glasses today. Um, like I say, after I gave it a full charge, so I'm going to be posting this on uh, Facebook and YouTube as a good reviews. For some reason, these particular glasses, there was over 250 reviews on the glasses, and it was all almost a five star. So, um, so a lot of times you got to take those reviews as a grain of salt because uh, you never really know. Because sometimes uh, you know they they're fake reviews and whatnot. So. I actually like to put the, uh, the realism in all my videos and stuff to tell you the actual truth and uh, what, what my findings were, so, you know, but anywho, all right, but we'll, uh, it is slightly getting dark out right now, um, so the other, uh, the third glasses that I had purchased, which were made by, uh, uh, was it Tang, I believe, uh, lousy at nighttime, you couldn't, if you if I put them in right now driving down the road it'd be totally dark you wouldn't be able to see anything uh, the, the very poor lighting uh, capability on those glasses um, yeah these these glasses here so far they're working out pretty good for me uh, they're very comfortable to the face uh, like I say the SD card is on the bottom but actually it's not popping out like the other brand that I purchased you know what I mean every time you put them on the SD card would pop out and fall on the floor and you didn't realize it was even out um, you know what I mean? This one here has red and blue indicators uh, on the glasses to let you know that uh, it'll be a solid blue, then a flashing blue when it's recording your video. Um, and then when you plug it in to charge it, it'll be a uh, solid red color, and then the, uh, the color will fade right down to red almost to like a blue, a light blue, to let you know that the, uh, cell, that the uh, glasses are fully charged. So it took right around like two hours. Um, even the first time of doing this too, what actually I had to, what I ended up doing after the two hour period, I unplugged it and plugged it back in. Then I seen the uh, the light had actually changed color. So maybe it's just you know one of those things that you know after you use it a couple times it'll kick in. Uh, if you can go to the uh, PDF file um, on the SD card once you plug the glasses in direct, and you can change the uh, upper date in the left hand corner of this video. Uh, you can change the date and whatnot in that, and you can also change. What happened is there's two letters on the top. One's a Y and one's the N. It's actually a, uh, an N, and you want to change it to a Y. And, and what you do is you close out the file, open it back up, and that'll actually save the, uh, it'll make the change. So this way, when you, when you record your videos and whatnot, you'll actually get the current time and date will be at the top of the screen and whatnot. And uh, actually, you can change how many minutes if you want to go to one minute, three minutes, five minutes, and ten. So I changed my file because I want it to be at default at five minutes. Uh, a five minute video with these particular glasses being an MOV file is actually, um, it's, uh, what did I say, it was just under 400, just under 500 megabytes for a five minute file in an MOV format, which was really quick to render in my software or whatever, my editing software that I use, and um, I could actually uh, put a link to the actual website where you can buy the software to edit the video and like I say I'll probably end up adding some extra video to this uh, video on, on different things of me walking um, and maybe in my other truck to, to compare the difference between uh, vehicles you know my truck's got a much bigger windshield whatever you might get a uh, line of sight might be slightly different but this is a uh, 72 Firebird you're actually seeing it from low profile uh, I'm looking down at my dashboard right now hopefully you can see it straight on looking over to the side and uh, supposedly these are action glasses, which uh, the very first brand glasses that I bought, uh, they weren't considered action. I never really thought of, never gave it much thought when I purchased them. Um, but uh, yeah, but they actually worked out pretty good other than not being an action. So I had to run it through software to get the uh, jitter out of it, and, and it did work. So if you plan on, if you want to buy cheaper glasses and it doesn't have the stabilization, you can actually run it through software to eliminate that. Um, and change everything in, in the video, whatever, like that, to make it, you know, make it for your purpose. But uh, we're almost at my car insurance, just trying to get there before they close. Uh, the audio is pretty good on this too, whatever. Um, but being this a 65% uh, angle, uh, that's great. I noticed the difference right off the bat. You know, it's hard to believe. Even the other glasses, they say that the resolution was higher, and it turned out not to be. So it's false advertising. They, they, uh, 
I don't know what they do with these glasses. So you really, you know, uh, seeing the reviews that I post and what other people post is the best way to purchase something, you know what I mean? So you really know because so much is so made up and you don't know who to believe um, nowadays, you know. But we're almost there. Um, so like I was saying, the glasses will record five minute increments, um, continuous right up to an hour and a half. And the batteries are supposed to last right like an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes before you need to recharge them, which you can recharge them at two hours to recharge the battery. I don't know. I got to look it up. I, hopefully you can buy extra batteries. It would be nice to be able to switch out a battery quick. Um, like if you're going to a snowmobile event, because a lot of times we go snowmobile and we're, we're gone most of the day, whatever. It'd be nice to know that uh, I can just pop in another battery and continue recording, but... I have a charger built on my sled, so it's not too much of an inconvenience. So when it gets low, I can actually pop it into my charger and uh, charge it up a little bit in between uh, when we stop at the restaurant. Well, dark out slightly it's right around six o'clock or so on a Wednesday uh, 2019 or 2020 
recording. We adjust the glasses with a little down downfall. Hello everyone, thanks for checking out my videos. I took a video of these in the car driving earlier. I was going to upload, but they were very shaky with the way I was driving and just looking around. So I just wanted to show some of the video quality that you get. It's actually very, very good quality for a small camera like this. So I'm in my living room now, so just doing a little skim around so you guys can see the quality. Thanks for checking them out. Bye.